Oh. You know, up, up in our part of the world, we got lots of different kinds of soft cover that these bass relate to. Shallow water, you got everything, all kinds of different lily pads. Yeah, you know, the little, little dollar pads to the big giant pads. And uh, 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 you got cut banks, uh, you got cattails, you got bulrushes, you got shallow water slop. Then you get out on, on a flat, you get a variety of different kind of weeds. But when you get out to the deeper edges, there's three main weeds that the largemouth really, really like that we look for. Cabbage, what we refer to as cabbage is number one. They love this stuff in the North Country. Uh, coontail is a really another good uh, uh, soft cover that bass like. And in some cases, milfoil. And uh, milfoil gets a little tough because you got to punch it a lot. But in some cases, that's it. Then you get some stinkweed and a mixture of other weeds. But those three weeds are what you're looking for. And uh, when you find those weeds, the bass are in them. Some patterns on some days on some lakes, it's all cabbage. On another day, if it's got coontail, they're all in coontail. And uh, you got one? Uh, tomb. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. Oh, King Kong. King Kong. <laughs> Love it. Love it. I want more of it. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that. Easy. Easy, son. Healthy looking fish, huh, Al? Beautiful bass. You know, fishing these giant weed beds is really an art, and there's nobody that I know that's better at it than my brother, James Lindner. You know, one of the biggest things to initially find fish in weed beds is finding food. You know, realistically, there's three different types of forage that actually move around in these weed beds a lot. It's crayfish, bluegills, and perch. And the big picture is this forage is moving around, not only around the weed bed, but up and down in the weeds. As a general rule, your electronics are monstrous in the fact that you can drive around and actually look where different types of bait fish are suspended in the weeds. And this is whether you're in the thick stuff or on the edges or on the inside edges. One of the really biggest parts of being really successful to find fish in weed beds is understanding how the weed beds are composed. And realistically, they're composed of specific edges within there. And a lot of times the bass are focused on a specific type of edge within the weed bed. And what I mean by that, you could have a milfoil edges, you could have coontail edges, you can have cabbage edges. A lot of times the fish could be really keyed in on a specific type of weed or weed edge. You know, one thing when you look at our northern natural lakes where we actually have a lot of weed beds, they are the heartbeat or the giant food shelves that support so many different fish species in all of our lakes.